Hey, musical theater singers. Uh, this is Kara, and I am back with another Focal Point. If this is your first time um, visiting my channel, welcome. And if you are a veteran, glad to have you back. All right? So this is uh, a list of five things today that are going to help you uh, with preparing for auditions and performances and just all around being um, a better singer. Okay, so number one, please remember this phrase. And, and the, the earlier you learn this in your career, the better, all right? Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't compare yourself to other people, right? You don't have their voice. They don't have your voice. You're, you're all on your own journey. So if I could go back and tell young Kara at 25 and even 35, stop with this comparison thing, uh, you know, I would have been better off. So the, the earlier in your career you can adopt that mantra, um, the better off, okay? All right, number two, pick rap or songs that are right for your voice type, right? Know your voice type and choose rap that you're going to sing in performances and cabarets, coffee houses, auditions that shows off your voice, all right? Something that you can excel um, with, not something that shows, well, you know, she tried, you know, we don't, we, we don't want that. All right, number three, audition for shows that are right for you. It doesn't matter what your next door neighbor does. It doesn't matter what your boyfriend or girlfriend is auditioning for. Um, you need to audition for the shows that are right for you. And guess what? I'm going to tell you something. You're not right for every show. No one is, okay? Sutton Foster is not right for every show. Adam Pascal is not right for every show, okay? So if you have in your mind, uh, I'm going to audition for Rent today because I'm perfect for Mimi. But tomorrow, I'm going to audition for The Sound of Music because I would be a magnificent mother abbess. There might be something wrong with how you're looking at things, okay? So talk it through with your coach or um, reach out to somebody who can, you know, kind of point you in the right direction when it comes to what type am I, okay? Um, number four, when you go into the audition room, don't take anything in with you that you have to kind of apologize for all right for instance if there's a money note at the end what we call a money note and you can't hit that or you can't hit that well it, it's kind of you're kind of apologizing like I I really love this song but sorry um I just couldn't hit that high note at the end you know then don't bring it in right bring in something that showcases you and number five embrace you you are enough. You don't have to be anybody else. And you certainly don't have to sound like the original Broadway cast recording. So um, if you fall in love with a song um, that you have been listening to and listening to for years or whatever, maybe, you know, stop listening to it for a little while. Get the sheet music, take it to your coach or work on it um, by yourself and see if it resonates with you without, you know, just listening to it. All right. Try it. Try it out. Remember, you are enough. OK, it's just about finding the right path for you and not comparing yourself to other singers, to other performers. OK, so if you wouldn't mind, would you please consider subscribing to my channel, which is right below that subscribe red button? You can just click that. And um, yeah, please come back and, and uh, see me again. Okay. All right. Good luck. Break legs.